have been married to my best friend for about eight years now. And you would think being married to your best friend for that long, you would know every little thing about them. And you wouldn't think they would betray you. Boy, was I wrong. So this whole thing started off one night when my co-worker was telling me about this new chicken place that was opening up in our area. He was telling me how good this chicken was at 12 in the morning when all the fast food places in our area are closed at this time. Surprisingly, this place doesn't close until 3 a.m. So that meant I had plenty of time to go see what the hype was about. But as soon as I got there, there was already a long line of people waiting to get inside the restaurant. There was even three security guards trying to control the angry mob of people who were wanting their chicken. This must be some really good chicken if they're fighting over it. But sadly, my husband didn't want to stick around for the dinner and the show. Looks like someone's not getting their chicken tendies today, fam. The sad part about it, every time that I tried to go, it was always packed. And I was starting to lose hope that I will never get my chicken tendies. Until my husband suggested that we should go on a date. And I was looking so forward to this date. Because it was going to just be me and him and some chicken tendies. What more can a girl ask for? Just a few days before our date, something happened. Something happened that made me snap. I'm cleaning up my car before I go to work and I noticed in the back seat there was a bag, an empty bag to be exact, of chicken. What? Why? What is this? What is this in the back of my car? I felt a little betrayed at that very moment. Like, why would the love of my life just do me so dirty? I wanted an explanation. I wanted to know the time of day that he went. I wanted to know who he went with. Why didn't he take me with him? Wait a minute. Who money did you use? But he didn't want to explain any of that. And I just started to get more angry. Oh, I see how it is. You just want to see what makes me tick, don't you? You know, I married you for sickness and in hell. Till death do us part. And it seems like death is going to come early for you, fam. Now, at this point, I was yelling so loud that my next door neighbor came out to see what was going on. My husband kindly went over and explained to him that I was just having my little fit. And I was overreacting. After all that, he did drop me off at work. And I slowly started to realize, maybe I was a little too hard on him. I mean, I was only angry because I wanted to go on a date with him. So as soon as I get off of work, I was planning to apologize to him. And then I realized he was waiting for me. And in his hands was a bag. And inside that bag was a box of chicken tendies. And as soon as he hands me this bag, I slowly realized this bag of chicken tendies, it's empty.